wanted to share with you guys this important factor because if you have a team member in your team and you don't have constant communication, you will kill that team member. It, they will die. And so we get oftentimes stuck in this lapis land. I call it lapis land. This is where you have a team and you, you grow your team and you are a lapis executive. And then suddenly you become a Ruby executive. But then you go back and become a lapis executive. And I believe this happens because of this one factor of com constant communication. And it is because we communicate every day. We're feeding. I, I call it like birds. They're hungry. Like this. They're hungry. <laughs> you ever seen the little chicks in the, in the nest and they're hungry? And then, yeah, feed the bird, right? You feed the bird. The mother bird feed the bird one at a time, one at a time, six birds. No problem, easy to feed, you can feed every day. Call them every day, right? But pretty soon what starts happening is your team growing and pretty soon now you have 40 birds to feed. And you're feeding the bird, feeding the bird, calling it, not feeding the bird. You know, at some point, you know, like it happened three months, you can take it because you're strong, you're a paddy costa, you're so strong, you're just feeding all of the birds. But at some point, you just get so upset at the birds, you just say, you know what? No more feeding for you. <laughs> and you turn your back on the birds, and the next minute you look back like this, and all the birds are dead. All the birds are dead. And you, you look at the birds, you go, oh my God, all my birds are dead. And you try to wake and, oh, six of them still alive. <laughs> feed the bird again. And you're back to lapis again or gold and you start feeding the bird one by one. And if you do this constantly, you can be a lapis land. You can be in lapis land forever. So you have to figure out how to teach this bird to feed himself. And this is the most important principle, I believe, between gold, lapis, and ruby and above. And if you're going to maintain, I'm not just talking about one time you happen to be Ruby, or just two months you happen to be Ruby and everybody provisional executive below you. I'm talking about real Ruby. And you have, you know, 12 or 15 executive in your downline. You have to learn to get those birds to feed themselves. And at the beginning it's like, you have children, you say to their children, brush your teeth. Right? Come on, I show you how to brush your teeth. Go like this, and you teach them to brush their teeth. The next day, hey, did you brush your teeth? Come, I show you again. Next day, brush your teeth. M mommy's in here. How long you say brush your teeth? <laughs> how many times did you say brush your teeth? Uh, is it like ten times and they brush their teeth every time? If your teeth, if your kid has teeth. <laughs> You didn't say only 10 times. How many times did you say? Every day. Every day for how long? Years. Three times a day. Years. To some of people years. And then, you know, happen like this. Thanksgiving or maybe like Easter holidays, you forgot to tell them and they kind of got locked. So Monday morning, come and they go back to school, you say, breathe on me. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Let me smell your breath. Oh, you didn't brush your teeth. Do you understand what I'm saying? Oh. Okay, happen like this at convention sometimes. Convention can kill your team. Because they forget to go on the conference call during convention, and then after convention finish, they don't get back on. You have to tell them brush their teeth again. After convention, after any big event, after Christmas holidays, after Thanksgiving holidays, you have to tell them to get back on the system again. So this system, we talk about constant communication, is critical, but Dean has something very unique and special about his communication of constant communication. To me, when I listen, and I listen to his calls in Vietnamese, <laughs> I do, I listen, because they speak a few words of English and I can understand the, I can understand the new skin words, right? L-O-I, whatever. <laughs> I can understand the, I can understand the, product name and I'm trying to learn Vietnamese so <laughs> how better than to listen every time. So I listen to his calls but there's something really secret that he does <coughs> and I want you to learn this secret because what he does is he ties in I call it the soap opera. 
And you know how soap opera, the end of the soap opera, they, they kind of leave you hanging at the yeah. cliff? Yeah. And you want to know what's going to happen with the rebels of Kentucky as they go down to, you know, Texas. And what is happening with that new team over there? And people are living the growth of Dean's business in country, parts of the country. They might be in San Jose, but they're living the growth of the business in Kentucky or Louisiana or other location and he has a very special way to play this as weaved into all of the training that he's delivering so every day there's a little training there's a little information and I want him to be specific today if you could and tell us like right down Monday Tuesday Wednesday what you're covering because when a leader has something very successful and and I know Dean has a very successful way of doing this how do I know I went to at the kickoff event last year I said, um, Dean, you guys gonna have a dinner? I'll come. Because the, the downline always forget to invite the upline. <laughs> so, so the upline have to just invite themselves, okay? <clears throat> so Dean, Dean, Dean had a dinner before the kickoff. And 350 people were in the room, like, for dinner. And I said, how long do it take you to set up this dinner? Oh, one week. <laughs> I just announced it in my conference call and I set it up and and everybody show up, how? Because 350 people listening to his conference call. I want you to understand something. If you can, if you can be half as skilled as Dean Wynn in doing this, you can train your team all over the world. And it's a very important skill to learn. And for you, I want you just to remember constant communication. I want Dean to share with you. Thank you so much for being here, Dean. Thank you.